Welcome to our table, Jack. Thank you. What say you? Um, from last year, the difference will be the office supplies is less. I got a new computer last year, so that'll be less. Everything else will stay the same, except for the salary line. There's an, an increase. I yeah, there's an increase because of the salary. The other lines are less. Actually, the other lines are the same except for office supplies is less this year. It's six fifty instead of fifteen fifty. Why am I seeing two sixteen budget fifty three four thirty six and two seventeen fifty five three twenty eight? Is it supposed to be the other way around? No. 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 2016. Uh, this is what we authorized last year, and this is what is for next year. Okay. So 3.6% increase. Okay. 3.5. Should be 3.5. Well, it's. <laughs> well, it's 3.5, but. Okay. But in order to go to the scale, the pay structure it was actually a pay. So it's, it's one spot. so it's eighteen dollars <laughs> more. Yeah. Okay. okay, and then added it incorrectly. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody have any questions for Jack? I have a question for Jack. Jack, how many different things? How many different roles do you play around here? Because <clears throat> I know you do more than just be a um, officer. I take care of a lot of maintenance around here, stuff that I can do in the time I have. I take care of projects that involve the top line of power over now and go down the road every day and do the contractor and the engineers and all that. Um, take care of the pellet boiler over there. Um, I shovel the walks in the day when I mean just help office whatever. I'm mm -hmm. health officer as well, that's on here. This will be the only time I say this this year, but I think Jack deserves more than we pay him. Want to make a motion? <laughs> so maybe. To what? But I understand that we can't. Um, I'm all set because I don't want to throw out a whack and I don't want to. So I'm all set. So. I know that we can't. Um, we can vote to have an increase in a particular line item, but um, that's not binding on time for you guys, Carolyn. So I don't know. I just expressing my view that. I think he does a lot of different things and deserves the, the, a little uh, more payment. Did the uh, did the Thornton report, uh, it, you know, indicate uh, did take uh, take under consideration buried uh, in the job description? That well, I think I we some of it, not all. <coughs> because what happened was when they did the job description, the original job description had certain things on it, and then. It went over and above, and actually, when Thornton <coughs> sent out their questionnaire, there wasn't enough room, so they went the back page, right. but they only copied one side. Mm -hmm. is, is that something? I enjoy what I do. So. Is that something that maybe we could it could be <coughs> reviewed in terms of uh, not not for this year, but to uh, it can be looked at to look like at and, uh, sure. and uh, to see that we're mm -hmm. you know that we're covering all the duties. So how do we want to proceed? Do we want to make a motion on this number, or do we want to table and and give it back to the selectmen? I move that we table the vote on this account and ask that Carolyn, if you guys could reconsider, uh, if you feel that's are you comfortable with that? I will bring it back to the selectmen. Okay. I'll second, but for. For the purpose of discussion at this point, do you have a number in mind, Steve? I will say no, I don't. Yeah, I, I, I think that if the if the selectmen are willing to take a look at it, um, I would. That's really all I'm asking. Yeah. I, I think it should be done in, in, in reference to the Thornton report and and, and, and and under the guidance of the of the selectmen. Mm -hmm. um, 
in their review process. Mm -hmm. uh, Okay. Let's take a minute and bring Tyler up to date. Tyler, we're discussing um, Jack's budget number 4240. Mm -hmm. um, we have a motion on the floor made by Steve, and I made the second, to table this at this point, um, send it back to the Board of Selectmen, and look at increasing Jack's salary. We don't have a number in mind. So that's where we are now. Based on what? On um, the duties. Steve, would you like uh, When I went back to the Thornton report, which I did uh, for the, some other things I've been working on, uh, I just didn't feel that it was it fully addressed a circumstance like this where we have somebody who, who fulfills a number of different roles, um, which admittedly is hard to quantify, which you know, how much is each of them contributing, but I just have a general feeling that um, because the report dealt primarily with his role as code officer, that we should acknowledge the, the other things that he does. Mm -hmm. And that, and as a result, that I think that he deserves more than we're currently paying him. What else do you do, Jay? Uh, maintenance around here, I take care of the pellet water off of the townhouse. I do projects that the town gets involved with Land Pond Road right now. I was the super uh, project manager, kind of like uh, for the town, for the fire station. I'm doing the same thing for Land Pond Road. Mm -hmm. um, help off the Just kind of help out some of that spot. How many hours a week do you, you uh, spend on this? On other things, but it depends on how the week's going. I mean, I use my free time to do stuff like that. So, you know, if it's a busy week for inspections and building and stuff like that, I fill it when I can. So. Helen, you had something you wanted to <coughs> say. Um, after we finish the discussion on the salary. Okay. So, we have a motion. Yes, Carolyn. Uh, could we just have a an idea, go up a step, two steps. Um, I have the chart. I hate what, to use what that chart. You, that's, <laughs> well, that's what we yeah. asked for. <laughs> that's what we no, I didn't. I wasn't a member of the committee when that was requested. <laughs> I, I would just suggest that the, the selectmen who are in intimate contact with what he does, just suggest, and we'll go mm -hmm. from there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. And I if I might add, I don't feel that you guys are compelled to follow the chart to the absolute letter. I mean, it's mm -hmm. like I think you have the flexibility to make decisions based on common sense. Yeah, absolutely. And if yeah. that results in something different, that's mm -hmm. the way it is. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have a motion made. I made the second to table it. Can I just add something? Yes, sir. Just yeah. <laughs> so you know, next year I'm going to ask for a new vehicle. So that falls in here. Just it's it's part of the budget. I don't know how you want to do it. I mean, the year before, well, yeah. back in two thousand and seven, they did it by they leased it, so it was a four year lease. So that was in my budget for the lease. So I don't know how it's going to be going to be done next time. So that's was that a used vehicle? No, it was brand new. It was new. Yeah. Okay. And how many miles are on this one? There's about seventy four thousand on it, but yeah. it's short jaunts and it's. Very tired underneath. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. That shouldn't okay, happen. Okay, we're not okay. taking that out of your salary. So no, I know, I'm just <laughs> saying that. Just <laughs> the, not salary, but yeah. budget it's is going to change. It depends on which okay. way they go. Yeah. Well, thank you for being honest and throwing this Okay, <laughs> all in favor of tabling number um, 4240? Aye. 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 All right. We're tabled. Jack, did you want to uh, talk about your budget? I presented my budget. I didn't change it. Okay, well, we <laughs> can talk without you. The budget committee table, building inspection, for us to re revisit Jack's salary to make sure that he is being uh, appropriately compensated. With all of the functions that he performs here in town. 
So I'm. So do we need to review his job description and his job classification? Is that where we're headed with this? I don't think that's we. I mean, that's something that can be done. I don't think <clears throat> Jack is happy. He indicated to the budget committee that he's fine. Um, if you want to do that, you can. But. Um, I have a well, I only okay. ask the question because the suggestion that he's not being adequately compensated really goes to to job description. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And uh, I, I don't, you know, it, we've adopted a system that. Uh, was presented by the consultant. Um, mm -hmm. And if, if, you know, if we're going to question where things are within that system, then, mm -hmm. then you can't just say, oh, yeah, I, I think we'll give them a little more money. Uh, that's uh, uh, the pay system was all set up uh, on grades and steps. And, uh, and I would suggest this conversation should happen when we do this review. Right. Not at uh, budget time. Mm -hmm. um. I, I have similar thoughts as I review the minutes of the budget committee. <coughs> uh, I want to read into the record. Uh, Steve Brinzer asked what other duties Mr. Parson is responsible for, and he feels that uh, he deserves an increase for the duties that he performs. What I noticed is you had to twice say, yeah, he's also the health inspector. <laughs> um, Mr. Parsons responded that the increase was not necessary as he doesn't want to infringe on the budget process. Um, he shared that the duties listed were mostly the code officer and he performs the other ones you know, as they come up. Uh, Mr. Sharp Parsons shared with the board that he'll need a new vehicle next year so the building inspection budget will increase then um, the, um, the board agreed that this is not something that should affect the uh, salary line of this budget. Uh, then uh, Mr. Brinzer moved a vote for the selectmen to reconsider increasing Mr. Parsons' salary, and the vote passed 7-0. Uh, I think I can come up with six to ten people in town who wear more than one hat. And are, they well, that's for sure. and are they adequately compensated? No. no. And if I went through the list, I'd be leaving two of them out, so I won't go through the list. The second point is, isn't it amazing that the same budget committee member wants to cut dental, wants to cut compensation? You know, we're right back to where we were last year. Add an increase here and add an increase there and then refuse to sign the budget. The budget committee has never been afraid to modify the selectman's budget up and down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If they think that uh, we're out of line or they would like to reward an employee, they're within their statutory right to do that and let them explain it uh, to, the, uh, uh, to the general public. Uh, I was on the budget committee for 17 years and we weren't afraid to to say what we thought, and this budget committee, in the last five years you've been on it, hasn't been afraid to tell you what they think. <laughs> no, but they don't like to okay. change budgets. They want us to do it. That's right. So, I'm going to just, just, just let it pass, and you go back to the budget committee and say we made no changes. Okay. This is our decision, and, 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 how, and how, we're standing by it. And you know what? If someone wants to know how I feel, they can ask me, because I'll be there. In public input. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, sorry, Jeff. Maybe next year. <laughs>